welcome back to my channel all right sagittarius i was not going to do any additional readings for you all for the month of february but here we are here we are uh so yeah if you are brand new to this channel please hit the sub button as well as that bell notification so you can be notified for when i drop videos I drop videos weekly thank you to all of you who are already sub to my channel thank you thank you thank you if you like a personal reading, you know what to do. Check out the description box below as well as the pinned comment. Also, if you are watching this at the start of the week uh, for this particular reading, um, February 9th through the 16th, I have two workshops that are coming up, uh, one Valentine's Day and one on uh, February 16th, the Sunday. Check out the description box uh, or actually check out the pinned comment below for that and check out more information about those workshops uh in the community section and yeah uh get your spot get your spot limited spots uh per workshop and of course if they all fill up and fill out i will add more time uh to the sunday uh or we'll add an additional uh on sunday all right keep in mind that all of this is general messaging it may not resonate with you that's perfectly fine you can do with the message what it is that you want remember to take what resonates and leave you know what doesn't Alrighty. so sagittarius let's find out what's going on with you all for the week up ahead february 9th to the 16th so this could be love this could be money this could be other whatever this is we're gonna find <laughs> words are mixed up we're gonna find out what's going on for you all so thank you universe for the channel messages what can Sagittarius expect for the week ahead, February 9th and 16th? Thanks for the channel messages, universe. Clarity. Sagittarius, February 9th and 16th. Oh, ooh, goodness. Something about clumsiness. Those cards just kind of slipped out. Sagittarius, February 9th through the 16th. Coming up ahead. Maybe you're narrowly getting out of something for the 16th. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we got the Page of Cups. All right. Someone admires you from afar, Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting with that Page of Cups. Someone's admiring you from afar. Uh, someone that's smitten by you, but maybe not ready to make a move. That's what I'm getting about that. Or this also could be in regards to stepping out career-wise or looking at different, I'm hearing greener pastures in regards to career. Uh, but definitely, this is hopeful and wishful thinking. We have the temper. Oh, wow. Sagittarius, you stay represented in your own readings. We have the temperance in the upright. So you're, very, you're being very patient. And what I'm getting in regards to this is, uh, this has to do with your love life, Sagittarius. Uh, if you are single right now and aren't currently mingling, you're being very patient, very resilient at that. However, uh, however, what I was about to say. Um, we have the six of coins. No, 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 no. Thank you, universe. I was going to say, however. We have the six of coins that came out in the reverse. So someone may be draining you of your energy maybe you're spreading yourself a bit thin uh this could have to do with work this could have to do with your actual coins you're spreading your coins a bit thin uh or in regards to uh gifts or gifting or parties or just you know you're spreading your money out or maybe family um is asking you know more responsibility of you or maybe you're just going out a lot more but this is something about your money being spread out across the board during this week uh sagittarius we have the judgment that came out in the upright. So definitely, Sagittarius, what I'm feeling is if you've been in a bit of a funky mood, everything is elevating this week. Uh, even, in, even in regards even in, in regards to you spending, you're just in a happier mood this week. You're just in better spirits this week. It's almost, it's like what I'm saying is if you felt hopeless or it's not completely hopeless, but senses of hopelessness, these past weeks it's like there's an awakening it's like almost like the energy of spring that's coming on 
We have the six of staffs. I am getting something. You will be celebrated at work, Sagittarius. You'll be celebrated at work by peers or with friends in regards to something that you are doing um, that is someone feels like you're doing a great job. You will be exalted, you know, briefly. Maybe you'll make employee of the month. Uh, maybe there's some type of uh, monetary gift or just something about you're going to be lifted up high. Um, this is a very week, good week for you all. So if you've been in a kind of funky mood this past week, the universe is balancing this all out and giving you quite quite a nice week. Um, even even though, you know, you might, you might be spending up all your weekly allowance of what you allowed yourself to spend in a week's time, but you're having fun and it's definitely going to be replenished. But yeah, um, you're going to be celebrated. We have the strength card in reverse. Uh, so... If you were working out of ego energy, prideful energy, Sagittarius in this last week, definitely it's like you're coming down. You're coming down from that self high and you're allowing yourself to open up and be more happy. Definitely I'm not getting that you've been showing that to other people, like not family, not friends, not your uh, partner uh, if you are in a relationship, but just more so everything is just, I, I just keep on hearing everything is balancing out. That's going to be the title of this, this reading for you all. Everything is balancing out for you all this week. We have the eight of swords. Yes, definitely. You all are, are just, you're in a better mental state this week. If you felt restricted, you're coming out of those restrictions. It's like, almost like you have to sit yourself down and come up with a plan. Like, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to get out of this bind? But it was more so a mental bind or yeah, being mentally bound about something and you've decided to let go. It was a self-restriction. Seven of staves. Something about you fighting some, something off. This is about temptations. Or old thoughts, old ideology. Because remember, I'm telling you, I'm picking up the residuals that, you know, these were kind of some down days for you. And you know what you all, this is my first time noticing this with this deck. So notice how in this picture, he has the yellow staff with the red staffs surrounding and then right here in the seven of staffs, there's the six staffs. So almost like a turning on yourself. Um, yeah, this is about fighting off something within yourself. Something about feeling overwhelmed. That's what I'm getting to that's coming through. Feeling overwhelmed, fighting off something within yourself. Something about not wanting to face something too is coming out, but having to face it. But facing it in fear, it's almost like a kid like hiding under the covers because of a monster under their bed. That's what I'm getting with that. We have the King of Cups that came out in the reverse. So I'm not really picking up heavy, lovey-dovey, outside lovey-dovey, outside validation, uh, Sagittarius. But I am picking up you. You definitely have gone on this just this inward loving journey. Um, because a lot of the unbalanced energy that I'm feeling for you, Sag, has to do with parts of your love life. Even if you're in a relationship, maybe parts of your love life was a bit funky. Things were, maybe maybe I should title this, things were a bit funky. But now they're balancing out. Yep, that's the title right there. Um, but yeah, I'm not picking up heavy lovey-dovey energy from, and this could be, if you're single, not, not that someone's like swooping in this week, not to say that you won't meet anyone. But I'm not getting like a swoop in, you know, uh, knight in shining armor, you know, your king to take you off to the palace type energy. And I am feeling a bit of dull energy for you Sagittarian couples out there. Uh, and we have the five of swords. I just heard moving on. You're moving on. You're moving forward from whatever had you bound the previous weeks. You're moving on from that. You're ascending from it. You're allowing yourself to be celebrated. However, it's something that you don't trust about this thing. It's something mistrusting about this energy that I'm picking up for you, Sag. Something that you don't trust. Uh, let's see. Before I get into Romance Oracle, let's pull some more cards. Because it's something about mistrust. I want to clarify this seven of staffs. Universe, clarify the seven of staffs. In regards to Sagittarius, clarify the seven of staffs. Thank you for the channel messages. Something about you don't feel deserving of something. Clarify the seven staffs. 
Was your energy that low in these past weeks, Sagittarius? Something about you don't feel deserving of something. But, and it's it, it's an illusion, though. It's not that you're not deserving. These are just inner feelings. I told you you were in this Eight of Swords upright energy. And you coming out of that restriction. You feel like someone, almost like something was handed to you. Or maybe that the thing that you're fighting off or maybe the thing that you're being exalted for, it was handed to you. It could have been someone else's, but it was handed to you. And so you got it by default or something like that. But you feel stuck and stalled too. That's another thing. Like you feel in your current situation, you feel stuck and stalled. There's something you want to move forth from. Something you're trying to fight to be patient for or patient with rather. You're trying to have this resilience with something. Um, however, you feel stuck somewhere. Give me more clarifying messages. Universe for the seven of staffs. Two more cards. Clarifying messages. More cards. Fill and pull more cards for the seven of staffs. More clarifying messages for the seven of staffs. Any more clarifying messages for the seven of staffs? Okay, I'm filling all of those. We got the page of coins. So let's let's get some more insight. Page of Coins. Definitely I'm feeling the energy of you wanted to move on. You definitely want to move on, but you feel stuck, Sagittarius. Oh, okay. So we got the Three of Swords. There's, yeah. Okay, I see what's going on. So there's unhappiness for whatever this thing where you're being exalted and what you're trying to fight off. And almost like you're trying to fight off reasons to stay somewhere, stay with something. Because you're, you're, you're not happy, you're disappointed. Yeah, yeah, this is something you don't want to nurture, but it's like you excel at it. That's what that's what that is. <laughs> and look at it. Look at the Knight of Stabs in reverse. You don't want to continue to take action for it. And it's almost like, it, it, what's funny is it's almost like there's something you, it's like, no, I want to be bad at this, but not bad, so bad that it's going to jeopardize me, but not enough for them to want to promote me. Um, but because you're not happy, you're not happy. Um, but definitely this is something that's business related. Uh, collaborative um, in regards to what you were being exalted from something that was handed towards you to you but this could be also handed to you from the universe too that's what I'm getting with that um, you were a bit disappointed but you're, once again you're in the energy where you're coming out of that and it's like you're just gonna accept it like okay I guess I just did good uh, I'm, I'm hearing they're gonna hate me when I leave um, and that could be in regards to anything just whatever but you're waiting for your ships to come in you're waiting for something else you're waiting for another offer sagittarius maybe you applied to something this month maybe this has to do with family a message something you're waiting to hear back from that's of great significance and the two of swords you've decided that you you're ready to move forward and move on in this week for the things that, that you've been down about in these past weeks you're ready to move forth and move on you're very action oriented and of course you know your fire energy so let's pull romance oracles universe give us messages for sagittarius february 9th through 16th messages for sagittarius february 9th through the 16th give me three cards messages for sagittarius february 9th through 16th one card just for sagittarius on those as well this could be the one so you, so once again, like I said, I didn't see anybody swoop it in like crazy with this King of Cup in reverse, but not that you won't meet someone and that it can't be serious. Uh, so let's see what else we have. Uh, we have let your friends help you out. You'll be spending a lot of time with friends this week, Sagittarius, a whole lot of time with friends. And maybe there's a friend who, you know, has someone for you or definitely will be giving you sound advice or you'll be going to for advice in regards to someone someone coming in we have ah what a, wow wow what that's i couldn't even get more words out new love so yeah you definitely there's a high there's a high likelihood you're like a 90 percent chance you will meet someone new this week and it will begin to develop as you go forth through the month of february and, and I, it's, I almost want to say the month of december so i kind of feel like too this person could be born in december of or representative of one of the signs of december or i could just be picking up on your energy yeah very passionate this would be a passionate week for you I, i'm getting more so someone oh wow i just i just heard phone sex someone from your past or someone that's kind of a not a serious energy with you you might have you know you might kind of you know 
have that thing, you know, have some sparks, you know, flying this week with them. I'm not picking up on them being a solid, you know, move on and ride off into the sunset energy. Definitely this new energy is, um, this new love is a different energy. However, though, um, I am picking up on sex. I really am on some, for some of you, for singles and definitely couples, trust. So this is more so... This is more so you trusting yourself again, or you trusting the divine, or you're trusting that everything's going to work out. Going back to that temperance, having that overall resilience and patience. Where is, where is the temperance? The cars are just everywhere. Yeah, this is you trusting, trusting the universe, trusting that everything is, gonna go, is going to work out in this week. And guess what? Because of that, everything is going to work out. And then we got playfulness. Yeah, you're going to be flirting with somebody. Somebody's coming in way brand new. I'm feeling, you know, very hot energy, passionate energy. You even have someone coming back in just for fun, um, you know, and it may not go further than the phone sex that I'm picking up, but yeah, just for fun. And it's, but it's boosting your energy. It's making you feel, you know, like you again. It's, you know, have fun, you know, it's, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. Uh, did, any of, uh, blah, blah, blah. did any of this resonate? Uh, and yeah, let me know. Also, book a private reading with me. Information is in the description box as well as the pinned comment below. And check out my workshop. Check out the link to the workshop. Purchase the workshop. Workshop is 12 50 $12.50 you can be anywhere in the world however those times that is taking place um central uh standard time usa so yeah uh wherever you are in the world you know match that up with that but trust me you don't want to miss this workshop and it comes with a ebook that i developed so free ebook uh download um because yeah so do that. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And until my next video, I will be seeing you. Peace and blessings, good people. Goodbye.